Hi, this is Andy Newman for another Buyer's Minute. I appreciate your stopping by. Let's talk about how much to offer on a home that you found. Okay, you've, you've gone out, you've searched at homes, you're uh, well informed as to the marketplace, and you've found a home that you want to make an offer on. How do you know how much to offer? Well, you have an agent that's working for you, so you're represented. Have the agent run a quick market analysis uh, on that neighborhood so they can tell you uh, about based on recently closed properties, what the current value of the um, uh, subject property might be uh, based on uh, other properties that are currently uh, available. Uh, are prices declining? Are prices increasing? Are they stable? Are there a huge number of properties on the market or not very many uh, in this neighborhood? Uh, if it's a neighborhood that's going to go quickly, then the property is obviously going to be worth more to other buyers and there's going to be more buyers in the marketplace that will want that property. So you kind of have to gauge that a little bit based on what the agent tells you. So take a look at the uh, quick neighborhood analysis that they're going to do um, based on the closed properties, but also you want to know what comparable properties are under contract but not yet closed. Why is that important? Because a buyer uh, somewhere has seen enough value in that particular property to make an offer on it and it, it was negotiated successfully so it's now impending. Now you don't know what the contract price is going to be. That's privileged information by the listing agent until closing. Um, so you kind of have to guess. But if there's a uh, uh, an average for that particular part of town, a different, uh, differential between a closed price and the listing price, then you can kind of use that to guess what the uh, negotiated sale price is going to be on the pending properties. And that's your agent's job. So make sure that you've got you know, an experienced agent, well-informed agent, uh, who is ready to roll up their sleeves and give you some information so you can uh, make de decisions on how much to offer. Now, you don't want to offer uh, such a low price that the seller is going to be irritated, uh, and you certainly don't want to pay more than you need to. Um, Odds are you're not going to know exactly what the seller's personal situation is because that's also confidential information. Um, but you never know, sometimes, uh, sometimes you can find out. Uh, sometimes it just comes out, you never know. So uh, whatever information you have at hand, uh, put yourself in the seller's position and then go ahead and decide where you want to start. Sometimes. Um, a first offer is accepted. You never know, and a lot of times it's not. So uh, keep an open mind, but know what the value is in your mind before you start negotiations. So if the seller gets to a point where you just don't think he's going to budge anymore, and it's still uh, a pretty good deal for you, then go ahead and, and go with it. You found the house that you wanted to buy. Don't let a few thousand dollars here and there uh, uh, put you off of that track and put you back to square one. That's not worth it. So uh, be reasonable and uh, go ahead and make that offer. Pull the trigger and hopefully the house of your choice is going to be the one that you'll be moving into several weeks down the line. This is Andy Newman with another Buyer Minute. Thanks.